Hey, looks like this mud's been flocculated. Now, that's not French for screwed up, but the hole is trying to tell you something. The question is, are you listening? I'm Vernon Smith. This is the third module of the Stuck Pipe Prevention Series, Warning Sign. Okay, in the causes module, we learned about the most common conditions that can cause stuck pipe. The bad news was that depending on how you count them, there are probably around 20 different ways to get stuck and new ways being discovered all the time. Well, the good news is, is those 20 or so types of sticking can really be boiled down to only three basic types of downhole mechanism that cause stuck pipe. So, the job of diagnosing the problem is really pretty simple. Now, here are the three main mechanisms. You can pack off or bridge the hole. You can get differentially stuck. Or you can get a downhole geometry mechanism, like a key seat or dog leg. So, if you get stuck, you don't have to think about 20 or so mechanisms, just three. Let's take a closer look at each. First mechanism, hole pack off and bridging. This is when loose material down hole begins to restrict your circulation or rotation. Wait long enough with these kinds of conditions and you're stuck. Hole pack off and The many causes of stuck pipe can be reduced to three main mechanisms. Hole pack off bridging, well bore geometry, and the A. Good. The hole pack off bridging mechanism may occur when A. Loose material down hole begins to right. When something has happened that's changed the way the drill string fits the hole, you have A, a differential mechanism, B, absolutely. Well, that's it. That's all there is. You have completed Section 1. You may review or continue to Section 2. Hey, welcome back. This is the fourth section of warning signs. In this section, we're going to have some fun. And we're going to work on how to add up the signs. Determine which particular mechanism is causing all the problems. If you know what the mechanism is, then you can fight back. So let's get started. First of all, if you can spot more than one warning sign around the rig, that's not bad. That's good. A lot of downhole problems have some of the same indicators or clues. Now here at this panel, you can listen to the members of your rig crew to collect valuable information as to just what might be causing the trouble. Just click on each crew member's button to get the information. The buttons at the bottom take you to other screens, like the mechanisms calculator to enter the clues you've already picked up. And finally, you can click here to solve the problem. First, let's click on the mechanisms calculator so you can see how it works. Whoa, look at this thing. Some of your warning signs add up here on the mechanisms calculator. Looks kind of complicated, doesn't it? Well, downhole diagnosis does use a lot of information and facts from all over the rig, but it's simpler than it looks. Some of your current rig conditions will add up to suggest a mechanism. You can see from these categories that pipe motion is an important part of stuck pipe diagnosis, but Often, when you add these clues up, you don't really get a clear-cut answer. The highest sum here is probably your mechanism, but you'll need to talk with other members of your team to be sure. When you are sure, click on the Name the Mechanism button to complete the exercise. You stop the clock by naming the mechanism. Simply select an answer from the three possibilities on this screen. If you did a thorough job of collecting the warning signs, You'll do well on this exercise. Good luck. My crew's starting to hit some snags here lately. And I don't want this to get any worse. See if you can help us get this problem ironed out before it's too late. We don't have a lot of time. Now we've been tripping out. Got some high torque after breaking connections. The drag started creeping up on me too. It wasn't but 10 stands before we got some unacceptable overpull. 
So I started to work the pipe a little in that area to kind of ream anything out. Might be causing the weight. Now, there is some angle to this hole. Now I'm getting it all practically. Over pull and torque are higher than usual and they're erratic. The more we came out of the hole, the greater the over pull. So I'm just working it. We ain't stuck though. I don't have anything unusual. The BHA and bed OD was okay on the last trip out, and we got some cutting coming over. Now the mud looks good. The geograph showed we had some intermixed layers of shell and sands, and we were making good penetration rate. Now the viscosity is fine to fair. Gases are good. Pit volume is good. Mud 9.7. The pump pressure is climbing though. All I've got to say is there's no junk in the hole. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not junk. I kept an eye on that. Everything's working fine. I mean, the degasser unit pumps and all. Well, the mud's got in and out. Pump pressure has been climbing up off a normal bit. At the time we were making a hole, the cut has seemed a bit low for the ROP. We're still getting a mixture of shell and sand. Overpull has been up on connections. The torque too. Trend is a steady climb on torque and overpull. The pumps are up off the normal beat, but we got no well geometry indication of tight hold at the BHA. And the pore pressure is balanced as well as can be determined. The formations are about what we expected. Very good. You solved the problem and you didn't get stuck.